Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to another episode of The Investing Iguana, the show where I, Iggy, your friendly and fabulous host, share with you the latest and greatest tips and tricks on how to grow your wealth through smart investing. Today, we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics, dividends. Yes, you heard me right. Dividends. Those sweet, sweet payments that companies make to their shareholders just for owning their stocks. Who doesn't love getting paid to do nothing? I know I do. But not all dividends are created equal. Some companies pay more than others, and some companies can even increase their dividends over time, giving you a nice raise every year. How awesome is that? In this video, I'm going to show you four Singapore stocks that could potentially increase their dividends in the near future, based on their recent earnings reports and future prospects. These are stocks that have strong businesses, solid balance sheets, and ample cash flow to reward their loyal investors. So buckle up, grab your popcorn, and get ready for some dividend action. Before we dive into the details, let me remind you to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them below and I'll try my best to answer them. Alright, let's get started. The first stock on my list is Hinteng Singapore, SGX, G13, the owner and operator of Resorts World Sentosa, RWS, an integrated resort with a casino, a hotel, and an aquarium. Hinteng Singapore is a well-known name in the tourism and entertainment industry, and it has been hit hard by the pandemic. However, things are looking up for the group as travel restrictions ease and more people flock to its attractions. Hinteng Singapore reported a strong set of earnings for its first quarter of 2023, 1Q 2023. Gaming revenue jumped 45% year-on-year to 339.9 million Singapore dollar while non-gaming revenue surged by 89% year-on-year to 144.4 million Singapore dollars. Net profit for 1Q 2023 has more than tripled year-on-year year from $40.4 million to $129.2 million. With China and Hong Kong announcing their reopening in January, Hinteng Singapore's second quarter looks promising as air travel continues to surge. There is a high chance the business can pay out a higher interim dividend than the one cent that was paid out last year. Meanwhile, RWS has also soft launched its newly rebranded Hotel Aura with 389 rooms back in April. The forum at RWS is also undergoing a facelift and will be ready by end 2024, transforming into a central lifestyle connector that will see its gross floor area more than double to around 20,000 square meters over three levels. Hinteng Singapore is clearly investing in its future growth and enhancing its appeal to tourists and locals alike. With a strong balance sheet and healthy cash flow generation, I believe the group can afford to increase its dividend payout ratio from the current 25% to around 35% or even 40%. That would translate into a dividend yield of around 3% to 4% based on its current share price of 93 cents. Not too shabby for a company that has a lot of growth potential ahead. The second stock on my list is Keppel Corporation Limited, SGX, BN4, a global asset manager and operator in the areas of infrastructure, real estate, and connectivity. The group operates in more than 20 countries providing services for clean energy, sustainable urban renewal, and digital connectivity. Keppel Corporation also reported a strong 1Q 2023 with both revenue and net profit rising year on year. Revenue increased by 28% year-on-year to 1.6 billion Singapore dollar while net profit soared by 112% year-on-year to 300 million Singapore dollars. The improved performance was driven by higher contributions from its offshore and marine ONM, property, infrastructure, and investments divisions. Kipple Corporation has been undergoing a strategic transformation since last year, aiming to become an asset light and capital-efficient company focused on its core businesses. As part of this process, the group has been divesting its non-core assets such as its logistics business and its stake in Floatal International. These divestments have generated significant cash inflows for the group, boosting its net cash position from 0.8 billion Singapore dollars as of end 2022 to 2 billion Singapore dollars as of end 1Q 2023. With such a strong cash position and a streamlined business portfolio, Keppel Corporation is well positioned to reward its shareholders with higher dividends. The group has a dividend policy of paying out at least 50% of its net profit as dividend 7. 
based on its 1Q 2023 net profit that would imply an annualized dividend of $0.24 cents per share, which translates into a dividend yield of around 3.6% based on its current share price of 6.703 Singapore dollars. However, I think the group can be more generous and pay out up to 60% or even 70% of its net profit as dividends, given its ample cash reserves and stable cash flow generation. That would increase the dividend yield to around 4.3% to 5%, making Keppel Corporation one of the most attractive dividend stocks in the market. The third stock on my list is Starhub LTD, SGX, CC3, a telecommunication company that offers mobile, broadband, and cable TV services to households and delivers cybersecurity and data analytics services to businesses. Starhub is one of the leading telcos in Singapore, with a market share of around 25% in the mobile segment and around 40% in the broadband segment. Starhub's 1Q 2023 results saw total revenue rise 8.7% year-on-year to 557.4 million Singapore dollars, lifted by growth across most divisions and the consolidation of Myra Public Broadband. Mobile revenue increased by 5.2% year-on-year to 184.9 million Singapore dollars, driven by higher postpaid average revenue per user, ARPU, and subscriber base. Broadband revenue jumped by 27.9% year-on-year to 85.1 million Singapore dollars, boosted by the acquisition of Myra Public's broadband business in December last year. Enterprise revenue grew by 9.6% year-on-year to 155.2 million Singapore dollars, supported by higher demand for cybersecurity and ICT solutions. Pay TV revenue declined by 5.4% year-on-year to 49.2 million Singapore dollars, due to lower ARPU and subscriber base. Net profit for 1Q 2023 increased by 11.8% year-on-year to 42.4 million Singapore dollars. Free cash flow for the quarter was 86.8 million Singapore dollars, up from 69.7 million Singapore dollars a year ago. Starhub declared an interim dividend of 0.025 Singapore dollars per share for the quarter, unchanged from last year. Starhub has been facing intense competition in the telco industry from new entrants such as TPG Telecom, ASX, TPG, and Circles Life, as well as from existing rivals such as Singtel, SGX, Z74, and M1, SGX, B2F. To cope with the challenges, Starhub has been diversifying its revenue streams into new areas such as cybersecurity, data analytics, cloud computing, and digital media. The group has also been investing in its network infrastructure and customer service to enhance its value proposition and customer loyalty. Starhub has a dividend policy of paying out at least 80% of its net profit as dividends. Based on its 1Q 2023 net profit, that would imply an annualized dividend of $0.10 cents per share, which translates into a dividend yield of around 9.7% based on its current share price of $1.033 Singapore dollars. That's already a very high dividend yield compared to most stocks in the market. However, I think Starhub can afford to pay out even more than 80% of its net profit as dividends, given its strong free cash flow generation and low capital expenditure requirements. The group has a net debt-to-equity ratio of only 0.7 times as of end 1Q 2023, which is manageable and within its target range of below one time. If Starhub can pay out up to 90% or even 100% of its net profit as dividends, that would increase the dividend yield to around 11% to 12%, making Starhub one of the highest yielding stocks in the market. The fourth and final stock on my list is Simic LTD, SGX, P9D, an integrated construction and engineering services provider to the energy, resources, and infrastructure sectors. Its capabilities include heavy engineering, shipbuilding, industrial insulation, modularization, site civil works, precast concrete, structural mechanical piping electrical instrumentation, SMPENI, maintenance services, offshore logistics, refractory services, and access solutions. Civmec reported a stellar set of earnings for its third quarter of fiscal year 2023, 3Q FI 2023. Revenue soared by 75% year-on-year to 201 million Australian dollar, while net profit surged by 123% year-on-year to 10.5 million Australian dollars. The strong performance was driven by higher activity levels across all its business segments, especially in the metals and minerals and infrastructure sectors. 
Civmec has a robust order book of 1.1 billion Australian dollars as of N3QFI 2023, which provides good revenue visibility for the next two years. The group has secured several new contracts and extensions in the past few months, including a 175 million Australian dollar contract for the Iron Bridge Magnetite project in Western Australia, a 100 million Australian dollar contract for the construction of a new wharf at HMAS Stirling in Western Australia, and a 140 million Australian dollar contract for the fabrication and assembly of 51 modules for the Chevron operated Gorgon project in Western Australia. Civmic has also been expanding its capabilities and capacity to take on larger and more complex projects. The group has completed the construction of its new shipbuilding facility at Henderson in Western Australia, which is the largest undercover shipbuilding facility in Australia. The facility will enable Civmic to participate in the Australian government's naval shipbuilding program, which has a budget of over 90 billion Australian dollars. Civmic is currently building two offshore patrol vessels for the Royal Australian Navy at the facility, with delivery expected in 2024. Civmic has a dividend policy of paying out at least 25% of its net profit after tax as dividends. Based on its 3QFI 2023 net profit, that would imply an annualized dividend of 0.016 Singapore dollars per share, which translates into a dividend yield of around 2.9% based on its current share price of 55 cents. However, I think Civmic can afford to pay out more than 25% of its net profit as dividends, given its strong cash flow generation and low net debt position. The group has a net debt-to-equity ratio of only 0.2 times as of N3QFI 2023, which is well below its target range of below 0.5 times. If Civmic can pay out up to 35% or even 40% of its net profit as dividends, that would increase the dividend yield to around 4% to 4.6%, making Civmic an attractive dividend stock with growth potential. So there you have it, folks. For Singapore stocks that could increase their dividends in the near future, Hentang Singapore, Keppel Corporation, Starhub, and Civmic. These are stocks that have strong businesses, solid balance sheets, and ample cash flow to reward their loyal investors. Of course, these are not recommendations or advice, but just my personal opinions based on my research and analysis. You should always do your own due diligence before investing in any stock. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I post new videos every week on topics related to personal finance, investing, and retirement planning. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. And remember, invest smartly, invest wisely, and invest iguanally. This is Iggy from The Investing Iguana, signing off. See you next time.